paddle around Blake Island right across from Seattle beautiful day today a couple days before Thanksgiving and I am thankful for all the Lord that's, the Lord's done for me in my life he's kept me alive I'm definitely not the uh, sharpest knife in the drawer or tool in the shed but I'm glad <clears throat> nothing really depends on that I'm out here enjoying myself I have this boat that I built about 25 years ago uh, 18 foot wooden sea kayak it goes pretty nice been all around the Puget Sound San Juan Islands the coast it's a lot of fun the simple pleasures in life are the best that's that's for sure and feeling good anybody can be healthy anybody can you can know any subject in the world right now you can just look it up on the internet you can look into health how to be healthy how to how to cure cancer basically you can fast you can do carnivore I'm doing a nice about a 14 mile paddle today uh, with a five mile hike around Blake Island on top of it and uh, doing all that on no food completely fasted since about five o'clock last night I have tons and tons of energy I'm over 60 I've got practically unlimited endurance and uh, strength this boat's going four knots probably I got this nice uh, white water paddle that I can really bear into it and I can do 14 miles well I'll split it up two sevens and then a five mile hike on no food and uh, I just feel great it's amazing totally amazing a few years ago I was about 45 pounds heavier all my joints ached, my knees, I could barely bend down. And I thought I was done. And so much pain from all the inflammation. But now I just eat meat and take salt and do whatever I feel like doing. I don't have to pack a lunch, I don't have to pack a breakfast. I can just go and I watched my dad die of Alzheimer's and that's basically your brain loses the ability to use glucose the glucose and uh, it's glucose over over too much so you can be anybody can be healthy anybody can look this stuff up same thing about the Bible anybody can read the Bible like a newspaper it's only about a fifth grade reading level I believe the King James Version and you can look at the what's happening in the world and then open the Bible and we're in the last days folks this is it. This is your last chance to get on the, on the boat, on the ark. God's calling you right now. Call out to Jesus, just like the thief on the cross. He said to Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. Well, you're, you're a thief right now and you're on that cross and you're on your way to hell 
and the gates of hell are coming at you really fast right now. So you need to get on the, get on the boat. Ask Jesus to forgive you. And that's it. You're safe. All your problems aren't going to go away. But when you die, you'll be in heaven. And that's the most important thing. And then other people will know that you got saved too. And that's a big deal too. Because it's a bummer when somebody dies and you don't know if they gave their life to the Lord or not. So get saved. Tell somebody about it. So they don't have to worry about you when you die of Alzheimer's. Of heart attack and stroke from eating donuts or from wearing a mask and dying of pneumonia or getting the shot and dying of a blood clot there's a lot of ways to die so make sure your ticket is punched for heaven And then uh, we'll see you in a few days. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna tell people about Jesus. And I'm gonna keep staying in shape. I got fired for not wearing a Jay Inslee slave mask. And uh, that was back in uh, April. And so here I am. And uh, let me, so, <clears throat> I'm gonna break this video up into some segments, but if you ever wonder about the mark of the beast and the 666, and the, the Bible says nobody will be able to buy or sell or trade, do anything without that mark. You won't be able to buy gas, food, They'll lock you out of your house. They'll throw you in a camp. They'll cut your head off if you don't take the mark. And that's what, look at what they're doing with the back. Or the V, whatever you want to call it. So how do you know if you're going to take the mark? Let's just say you're stuck here. You say, oh, I'm never going to take that mark. No way, I'm never going to do that. Well, if you're wearing a mask right now, when you go to the store, because you're afraid of what somebody's going to say to you, well, you're going to take the mark, I guarantee it. And if you take the mark, that's it. There's no more salvation for you. So what are you going to do when they come up to you and they say, here, take this jabberoonie, or you won't be able to work, you're going to starve, and besides that, we're going to chop your head off. What are you going to do? Well, you've kind of already, you've already answered that question if you're wearing a mask. You're going to bow. You're going to capitulate. And uh, especially speaking to all the men, so-called men that are out there, and they're, they've never had a trouble in their life, basically. And uh, they couldn't even do one chin up. And I know I can do I can do like 12 chin ups right now. I'm over 60. I can do push ups. I can do anything I want. And most of these guys, these young guys, they can't do anything. They can't do a push up or a chin up. <clears throat> but the only thing they can lift up is the toilet seat. And. And they're cool with that. They're like, oh no, that's cool. I'm a man, I'm a big, big man now. I can lift up this toilet seat. You can knock them over with a feather. I worked for these guys now for the past 20 years. And I mean, it's terrible. If you, that's what I'm saying. If you don't have the courage to stand up to Jay Inslee and wear a mask, you're not gonna stand up to anything. If somebody can make you put a dirty rag on your face, that's it. 
you you've taken the mark basically you're not gonna you're not gonna t tell somebody anything because you're just a little sheep sorry to say and uh, I tell people this and they look at me they you know I mean I try to pick fights with these young guys I try to get them mad and they won't even get mad at you it's amazing I came from a background of bricklayers and we <laughs> we as before all these rules 40, over 40 years ago and uh, these guys were tough that I used to work with and uh, it just amazes me to see these guys and they they're proud because they <clears throat> their arms look like a toothpick or they got <clears throat> They drink so much beer that their belly looks like a pregnant woman. And I tell you what, you're not going to stand up against anybody. Anybody that comes knock on your door and says, Here, you got to take this mark? Well, you're going to take it. So the best thing for people to do is to get saved, get born again, and then uh, you won't have to deal with it. But if you're curious about whether or not you're going to take the mark, well, you don't have to wonder anymore. If you wear the mask because you're worried about your job, or, oh, I got a family to feed, I got this and that, well, sorry, buddy. You've you kind of already made your decision, haven't you? You've bowed down to Jay Inslee. Uh, that guy's never worked a day in his life, born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His best friend is China. He's got this state locked down. And I'll tell you what, the wicked are going to get with judgment. They're going to get what they deserve. And it's nothing we can do. God's got their number. So pretty easy to figure out. You can stand up on your hind legs at some point in your life. And you can say no to the devil. And you can say no to Jay Inslee. And uh, Brandon. And you can trust the Lord for your life. Live or die. So, it's pretty easy. pretty easy to figure out go out and enjoy what God gave you if you got a couple months worth of bills paid then that's probably all you're gonna need because they're cracking down they're gonna crack down they're gonna shut off interstate travel they're not gonna let you have gas they're going to make you have the green pass where you have to show that you've had the poison. And uh, that's just crazy. That's so crazy. I'm checking out. I'm doing my own thing. And, uh, nobody's making me do anything. Not one thing. So, have fun. Have fun storming the castle.